Since we're talking about futuristic things, water is the new oil, or should I say the new gold? I say this because water has joined both oil and gold on the Wall Street. It is now officially being traded. You may ask why. And the answer is climate change, water shortage. The price of water has gone up across the world. In California, it has doubled in one year. Recent droughts and wildfires have made matters worse. So an American company called the CME Group has added water to the futures market. For the uninitiated, what is a futures market? It's basically an auction market. So you buy and sell today for delivery in future. The price is set today. But the commodity is delivered in future. The idea is for, for you to bet on how well a product will sell at a future date and set a price for it today. Now, this kind of trading is done for oil and gold. Futures trading, they call it. Now, it will be done for water too. This American company has launched contracts related to California spot water. The announcement was made in September right after the wildfires. The trade began on the 7th of December. The price of water futures in California traded for about $486.53 per acre foot. The index is based on prices in California's major river basins. This market in California is worth $1.1 billion. We're talking about water here. So it's safe to say that in California, water is now a commodity, a traded commodity, an asset. And going forward, the price of water will fluctuate, just like the price of gold or oil. And investors will be able to bet on the future of water prices. What does this mean for those living in California? Well, those who are in favor of trading water say that this move will clear uncertainty around water prices. It will help farmers and authorities budget for water and also allow for better management. Then there are some who say that water should not be made a tradable commodity because it puts basic human needs under the control of financial institutions. One expert compared it to betting on the suffering of others. What does it mean for those who are not in California? It's an indication for all of us. This is what the future holds. It may just be a matter of time before water hits markets around the world. Two billion people live in countries plagued with water problems. Nearly two thirds of the world is expected to face water shortage by 2025. And that's just four years away. Households, businesses, farmers, everyone is expected to feel the pinch.